Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time he may exalt you, casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. Be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls round like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Resist him, firm in your faith, knowing that the same kind of sufferings are being experienced by your brotherhood throughout the world. First Peter 5, 6 through 9. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. I'm Don. I thank you, Lord, for your word, for your grace, for your hope, for your life in this word. I ask, Lord God, that we would just begin to step out on this day of prayer and just begin to release life to others. In Jesus' name, amen. Glory. Let this word minister to us, Lord God. Glory. Humble yourselves, therefore, before God, <laughs> under the mighty hand of God. What does that mean? That means having an attitude, the attitude of a servant, an attitude of love, an attitude that says, I will lift you up. It's not an attitude of, I'm an unworthy slug, please step on me some more. <laughs> That's not being humble. <laughs> That's being humiliated. And God doesn't want us to be humiliated. He wants us to be humble. And, uh, you know, the main part of this, this message I'm seeing today is about casting our cares on Him, our anxieties on Him, because He does care for us. And we need to continue to give Him that those things that, that, that torment us so. <laughs> Glory. Glory. Just continue to give it. I just I just want to encourage you to continue giving those things, casting those cares on him. That means to forcefully just ow, whoosh, <laughs> forcefully and be sober minded. And what sober mindedness means is is be focused. Don't don't be looking all around. He's not actually talking about being drunk or, or uh, inebriated in some way. He's talking about don't look at the things that are around you. Don't don't consider the storms of life like I did when I walked out on the water <laughs> and sank. <laughs> glory, glory, glory. Be sober-minded. Be watchful. Your adversary, the devil. He says, your adversary, he gives, there's an adversarial relationship between us and the enemy. The enemy will try and wrestle us down. We'll try to build strongholds in our lives. We'll try to keep us in bondage. And God wants to set us free. Jesus said, he whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Glory. Let this message be a message of hope. Resist the temptation to give in. Resist the temptation to to say, I can't do this anymore and turn around and go back out into the world. I believe there's people right now struggling to the point of, of wanting to, to just chuck it all. To just chuck it all and to just, I'm, I'm going to do my own thing. I can't take this anymore. I can't be the way that my religious thinking <laughs> wants me to be. Well, don't be the way your religious thinking wants you to be. Don't be the way the enemy's trying to make you into a religious automaton robot. Be set free in the name of Jesus. Glory. Glory. And there are people all around you suffering. I'm suffering at times. Uh, this morning I'm not suffering, but I am suffering at times throughout the week. I struggle with my mindset. I'm struggling with religious thoughts. I'm struggling with the lust of the flesh. I'm, I'm struggling with saying no to myself. And standing firm in Him. I struggle with those things on an almost daily basis. But my eyes are fixed on the Lord. My eyes are fixed on the Lord and I know that He's going to take me through this. And He's going to take you through this too. I just really believe that this morning there's some people that are going to be looking at this going, Yeah, I have been struggling. I have been struggling. And it's been hard, and I've kept most of it to myself. I haven't found anybody I could share this stuff with. Cast it on the Lord. Cast it on the Lord and begin to stand firm on His Word, my brothers and sisters. And I just want to say thank you for coming and sitting with me this morning for a couple of minutes. I hope this made sense to you. I just release over you peace right now. I just release over you rest and shalom right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory. Hey, I want you to have an awesome day. This, day, this is National Prayer Day, so pray for our country, lift our country up.
pray for your country if you're in a different country. But pray if you're in the United States. This is a national day of prayer and mourning. And we need to we need to get before the Lord and humble ourselves. That he, that that He'll bring some uh, good stuff to our country. That'll repair the land. Drive out the enemy. In Jesus name. <laughs> hey, we'll see you. Bye. Oops.